The allure of fresh powder, the thrill of descending mountain slopes, and the cozy ambiance of après ski, ski trips are the epitome of winter adventure. But behind the enchantment lies the importance of meticulous planning. While the anticipation builds, many travelers inadvertently stumble into common pitfalls that can turn a dream vacation into a snowy nightmare. Join Vucation as we present the biggest mistakes beginners make when planning a ski trip. Not checking the weather and snow conditions. Why it's a mistake. Skiing is entirely dependent on weather conditions. If there isn't enough snow, you might find closed trails or even worse, closed resorts. Conversely, storms can make travel dangerous or impossible. How to avoid it. Regularly check weather forecasts for the region you're planning to visit. Look at both short-term, next seven days, and long-term, monthly, forecasts. Most ski resorts also provide daily snow reports on their websites, giving you insights into snow depth, recent snowfall, and trail conditions. Ignoring skill levels. Why it's a mistake. Ski resorts vary in the range of trails they offer. Some might be heavily geared towards experts with lots of black diamond trails, while others might be family-friendly with a focus on beginner and intermediate slopes. Going to a resort that doesn't match your group's skill level can lead to disappointment or even accidents. How to avoid it? Research resorts in advance. Most resorts' websites provide trail maps that indicate the difficulty levels of their slopes. Choose a resort that offers a good mix suitable for everyone in your group. Not booking in advance. Why it's a mistake. Waiting until the last minute might mean missing out. Accommodations can be fully booked, especially during peak seasons. Lift tickets might be sold out, and ski schools might have no available instructors. How to avoid it. As soon as you have your dates fixed, start the booking process. This is especially crucial if you're planning to visit a popular resort or traveling during peak times like school holidays. Many resorts also offer discounts for early bookings. Forgetting to check equipment. Why it's a mistake. Old or damaged equipment can ruin your skiing experience. It can also be a safety hazard. If you're relying on rentals, not reserving in advance can mean settling for ill-fitting or subpar gear. How to avoid it. If you have your own equipment, inspect it or have it checked by a professional before your trip. Look for any wear and tear, especially on bindings. If you're renting, reserve your gear in advance. Some rental shops even allow you to specify your preferences, ensuring you get gear that's right for you. Skimping on lessons. Why it's a mistake. Skiing has a learning curve. While some might be tempted to save money by skipping lessons, this can lead to developing bad habits or worse, getting injured. How to avoid it. If you're a beginner, booking a lesson is a must. Even if you've skied before, a refresher course or an advanced lesson can be very beneficial. It's an investment in both your enjoyment and safety. Look for resorts that have certified instructors and well-regarded ski schools. Not researching resort amenities. Why it's a mistake. Beyond skiing, many resorts offer a variety of activities and amenities. Missing out on these can mean you're not getting the full value or experience of your trip. How to avoid it. Before booking, peruse the resort's website or call their information line. Check out other activities they might offer, like snowboarding, snowshoeing, sledding, ice skating, or indoor amenities like spas, swimming pools, and gyms. This ensures that there's something for everyone, especially if some members of your group are not avid skiers. Neglecting altitude considerations. Why it's a mistake. Higher altitudes can affect the body due to decreased oxygen levels. Altitude sickness can manifest as headaches, nausea, dizziness, and fatigue. For some, this can ruin a trip or even become a serious health concern. How to avoid it. If you're traveling to a high altitude resort, especially if you're coming from a low altitude area, consider spending a day or two acclimating in a nearby town at a slightly lower altitude. Stay hydrated, avoid heavy alcohol consumption, and talk to your doctor about medications that might help. Not purchasing travel insurance. Why it's a mistake. Skiing, by nature, carries risks. Accidents, injuries, lost equipment, or unexpected travel disruptions can lead to unforeseen expenses. How to avoid it. Buy a comprehensive travel insurance policy that specifically covers winter sports. Check that it includes medical coverage for ski-related injuries, 
equipment loss or damage, and trip interruptions or cancellations due to weather or unforeseen circumstances. Not dressing appropriately. Why it's a mistake. Mountain weather can be unpredictable. Dressing inadequately can make you cold, damp, or even put you at risk for hypothermia. On the other hand, overdressing can lead to excessive sweating, which can also make you cold when the sweat freezes. How to avoid it? Dress in layers. Start with moisture wicking base layers to keep sweat away from your skin, followed by insulating layers to retain warmth and top with a waterproof and windproof outer layers. Don't forget warm gloves, a hat, and high-quality ski socks. Pack extra layers so you're prepared for varying conditions. Forgetting sun protection. Why it's a mistake. The sun's rays are intensified at higher altitudes, and the reflection off the snow can amplify UV exposure. This can lead to quicker sunburns. How to avoid it. Even on cloudy days, always apply a broad-spectrum sunscreen with a high SPF to exposed skin. Wear UV protective sunglasses or goggles to protect your eyes. Consider a lip balm with sun protection to prevent chapped and sunburned lips. Not setting a budget. Why it's a mistake. Ski trips, especially to popular resorts, can become unexpectedly expensive. Without a clear budget, you might find yourself overspending or, conversely, missing out on experiences because of financial concerns. How to avoid it? Determine a clear budget for your trip. Factoring in expenses like accommodations, meals, lift tickets, equipment rental, lessons, and extra activities. Research potential costs in advance and allocate funds accordingly. Disregarding safety protocols. Why it's a mistake. The mountains can be a dangerous place, especially if you're unfamiliar or overconfident. Ignoring safety guidelines not only risks injury to oneself, but also endangers others. How to avoid it. Always adhere to resort rules and guidelines. Understand and respect trail markers and difficulty ratings. And if you're venturing into backcountry areas, ensure you're properly equipped, informed, and preferably accompanied by a professional guide. Always inform someone about your whereabouts and estimated return. Overlooking transportation. Why it's a mistake. Getting to and around mountain areas can be tricky. Overlooking transportation logistics can lead to missed flights, long waits, or unexpected expenses. How to avoid it? Research in advance. If flying, ensure you've arranged transportation from the airport to the resort. Many resorts offer shuttles, or there might be local transportation options. If driving, check the route, potential weather conditions, and whether you need special equipment like snow chains. Within the resort area, determine how you'll get around. Some resorts are walkable, while others might require shuttles or cars. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have any ski trips planned this year? Let us know in the comments section below.